We are on our way to Home Depot to pick up the tools we need to create our own garden. So we took measurements before we left. All we have to do is pick up. <laughs> Hi! So here's the land that we are going to use. It is eight feet by 36 inches, like three feet. So eight by three. And you see, it's nothing going on with this plot of land. It's just been like trash building up, old pieces of wood that I don't even know where it came from and water bottles and just, just trash. So anyway, so we got the, the wood and we're building it on the deck first just so that it can be level and even and these are two by tens right Gary two by tens uh yep two by ten bless you two by ten wood two by tens yeah. one's uh Eight foot long, the other one's four foot long. Getting the, uh, just a pre-drill for the holes, just so we can be in good standing. Do. So I'll drill some holes first, just to kind of start it. Just so we're in pretty good shape. <laughs> So we actually decided to have a garden a little while ago, but this is the first time we've had like some downtime to actually put it all together and uh, to make it happen. So I've had this Pinterest board for about... Years. Yeah, like almost three years probably. And every spring comes around like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, and I never get around to doing it. But look at us now. <laughs> look at me now. Who's laughing now? <laughs> So what we're gonna put in our garden, we've got some lettuce. Ugh, that's right, lettuce. We got some sweet peppers that we can try. Uh -uh. We're gonna try some um, some squash, because she loves eating squash. And got some cucumbers, because cucumbers are great for juicing. Uh, we got some scallions, because we always use scallions. Makes any dish fancy. And we got some carrots. And I feel Build like. in the garden. <laughs> and it's just a good way to um, get us started on this journey. And we can also, while we're eating food, oops, carrot. <laughs> while we're eating, if we find something that we want to grow, we can always cultivate it in this little garden patch. Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right now, what we're doing is that uh, we're pretty much using the drill to start the um, to start the hole for us. And then we're using the deck screws, two of them, one on the top, one on the bottom, to secure it and uh, create a square around you, as you guys see. Uh, once we create the square... It's a rectangle. Oh, uh, rectangle. We've been through this before. <laughs> we have. Uh, once we've created the rectangle, uh, then we'll have a few support structures, which will allow, uh, if we're sitting down on the ground, uh, to be able to sit on it. So you guys will see that once we put a little bit more into that, okay? Uh, the big thing is, I don't want to make it too heavy right now. Uh, so I want to create the actual uh, structure itself, and then we're going to put it down where it's supposed to go. All right. Um, and then I've just been using this Black and Decker. It's been handling it pretty well. Um, so yeah. All okay. right. All right. So we cleaned up the. Oh! 
camera's having a hard time uh, because the battery's dying. Uh huh. Why is the battery keep dying? <laughs> None of them are charged up. So I'll just do voiceovers oh, later. Classic man. Garrett. <laughs> Oh, oh. My God. yes, they're in the droid. <laughs> That's bull.
the strawberries good? So these are the remnants of the strawberries ew, that I grew. So I have the rest in this little sandwich bag. And I'll probably cut those up for her. But let's go take a look at the garden so I can show you guys the progress. Um, it's been about two months since I filmed the... Um, it's been about two months, right? Since, uh, since I started filming us building it. Ooh, let's get these settings under control. Watch my step. Okay, okay, okay. So this is what it looks like from afar. Good morning, Arrow. Good morning. It's gonna be hot today, so we have him out here early. All right, guys, so what I ended up doing I am propagating some tomatoes here because I had to trim them back. Um, but I got some strawberries that are growing. Can you see, I've got strawberries growing. I've got a blueberry. I've got a blackberry. I have this little orange plant that is trying to peek through. I got that from Home Depot and it died. And then I put it in the garage for a little bit. And now it's coming back. Since it's warm out now, it's coming back. I've got some peppers growing. Let's see, can you see that good? I've got some green peppers. Oh my goodness! Wow! I've got some green peppers growing. I've got some red peppers in there. And hi, Kona! That's our neighbor's dog. Hi, Kona! Good morning! This is what I do, okay. So I've got uh, green peppers, red peppers coming. Now these plants that are like taking over, these are tomato plants. I've got like three or four. Um, didn't space them out good, apparently. They looked nothing like this when I started, so uh, this thing is growing like crazy. But I do have some Tomatoes down here somewhere. Can I find any? I, those little ones. But I had some bigger ones. Where are they? I hope nothing ate them. Because that's been an issue. I've had... They're deep in there. They're deep in. You can't see. Oh, here we go. So, I've been having problems with my cabbages because... Um... Things have been eating my cabbages. Oh, gosh. I don't know about these cabbages, man. Every day I wake up, there are new, like, <sighs> eggs. I see eggs. And I see, like, there's holes in the leaves. And I saw, um... They look like little green caterpillars. They're actually called cabbage, um, cabbage loopers. And they came in and really, really wreaked havoc on my, wreaked havoc on my cabbages. So, um, I tried to do some, um, some things to get rid of them, like, uh, poured vinegar on my cabbages. I've used cayenne pepper and garlic on my cabbages. And I mean, next day, not next day, I think it, I just need to do it more often maybe. But they don't like my purple cabbages as much. As you see, they started attacking them too, but they don't like the purple cabbages as much, but this green cabbage has gotten like the business. But I just wanted to show you guys just a quick overview. I have been able to eat some things out of the garden. I don't know if I am going to eat the cabbages or not. I'm really disappointed in those because they they looked so good when I started. But um, but uh, no makeup and I just woke up. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that it may have inspired you to do your own little garden outside. It's been so rewarding to put my hands in some dirt and actually grow something. I feel really grounded. And um, 
it's been a fun adventure. It's been a fun adventure, even if I don't get to eat any more than just strawberries. Um, have a great day. If you'd like to see more of content like this, please follow along on our YouTube channel. I am going to be, uh, we're actually working on a big, big renovation that I've already started filming and I'll share with you guys soon. Have a great day, bye.